Hey guys, EpicCG here with yet another tutorial on how to make your very own premium themes for your Xbox 360. Now, I've done this tutorial because of a uh, request I received from one of my subscribers and figured it would be easy enough for me to just do it real quick. So, um, start out, export, Mario, and you're going to have to have four pictures. I'll talk about those in a little bit, but for now you know the export and audio thing. I will have just these two programs in the download link if you do not already have them. And instead of export, I will have a setup file that I will use instead so you can so you can install export for yourself. So, um once you have those two extracted if you need them, next we're going to need our four pictures. Now these pictures are very particular type of size and file type. Now the best I would think is to put .pngs, .png. You can use them with either Adobe Photoshop, Fireworks, I believe you can work with them in Paint, or GIMP, or whatever the heck you're doing it on. Um, so I've been using Photoshop for these, and just find stuff on the internet, it's very easy. The size needs to be 1,280 pixels and by 720 pixels, if you can see the dimensions there. It says PNG file and then 1,280 pixels by 720 pixels. It's usually probably the size of some people's desktop size for wallpapers. So usually you can find wallpapers that you like. And my four pictures, I'm, I have to admit this, I am a diehard Halo fan. So um, I have two map pictures, the logo and a recon helmet type picture of him shooting something. Oh well. But and those are the four pictures I will use. Make sure they are all the exact same size. These, I mean, the exact same dimensions. The size, like megabyte wise, does not matter as long as it's a picture and it fits on your hard drive. <laughs> Hopefully, you don't have like a two gigabyte big picture. That would suck. But if you do have four that you think will work, you can use those. So we can start out by opening up Mario. Don't worry, we'll get to export later. Let it load. There we go. And you can close out of this stuff. And the first thing we need to do is click on the M up here and go to other tools and go to theme creator. So M, the big M on the top right, the top left, my bad. Other tools and then the theme creator. Click on that. And it'll bring up this window right here and it will allow you to load images. For the main image, mainly the one where you start up your Xbox, it's the first image that you see. The media library, like your pictures and videos and uh, music. Your game library, like if you want to do arcade games, and your system settings. So to do that, we'll just load each image. We'll load the image here, and let's see... Um, ignore that, that's a project I have. And... Which one would I put for main? Here we go. Then we do the game library image. I'm going to do... Let's see, this one. The media library image. I'm going to do... Let's see... This one. And system settings image. The last one left. This one. So... Once you have all four of your images, we can then change the sphere color. Now, the, the sphere is like on the bottom of your screen, the bottom half of it, the little kind of round thing that um, is almost like the floor of your Xbox. It's hard to explain, but it's kind of curved on the bottom, if you know what I'm talking about. And it could, this changes the color of that. So I'm going to make it, just to prove my point, I'm going to make it a gold since it'll be easier for me to show you what exactly has changed. And the style, I don't really know the difference between these, just you can put dark, light, I'll put dark for the heck of it. Um, theme name, this is what it'll show up on your Xbox. So I'm going to put Halo 3 theme. And I'm just going to click save theme. And save this as whatever file you want. Um, H3 theme. Now it'll say your theme has been successfully saved. 
and then now we can close out of both of these. No IDs needed for any of this stuff. And now we can open up Export 360. Uh, make sure it identifies your hard drive by the whole either transfer cable or SATA connections. And if you do not know about SATA connections, I do have a video on how to hook your hard drive up to your computer um, on my channel. It takes 10 minutes, very easy to do. And you might want to go check that out if you don't want to waste your time with trying to call Microsoft for a transfer cable. So once you have your hard drive recognized, you can click OK and open up your device. Go to Partition 3, Content. And then this time we are going to go into the All Circle file. All Circle. All Zero file. And uh, go into your dashboard data, Gamer Picks, Themes, and Profile data. Do not go into the Profile Avatar data, that's a different folder. Go into the Gamer Picks, Themes, and Profile data one. And go to the 0003 key number there, 3000 folder. And I just have one little theme here that I've that I made. So and in turn for that you will drag and drop oh my folder's over here, I need to drag it over here. It'll have the H D theme or whatever you named it. And drag and drop that onto export. Now of course, if you cannot for some reason you cannot drag and drop here for a second. Um, you need to disable your user account controls. For example, like, to even get this running, you need to run as an administrator. But if you disable your user account controls, you will be able to drag and drop between programs. This works for only Vista and 7. You will not have problems on XP or the other earlier ones, versions of Windows. So once you have your theme onto your hard drive, you can just close out of export and hook your hard drive up to your Xbox. You are now done with adding your theme. Now I will now go to my Xbox and show you guys that this works and what is customized. I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, I am on my Xbox. And as you can see I'm on the normal just default theme here. And to change your theme to your custom theme that you wanted, go click on your like where it has your profile dude or whatever your avatar, click that, and go down to uh, change theme. And you have all your themes that you have on here, all that stuff. And and choose the theme. Mine was Halo 3 theme, and as you can see, it shows the default picture, your picture that you had for your main picture. Just click your theme. And as you can see, um, I know it looks kind of stupid because that's the sphere I was talking about earlier and I set it to gold and it's kind of an orangey color but that's what it is so you can see the uh, the little sphere thing on the bottom half of the screen that's what I was talking about and if we go to our game library it has the um, picture that I set for the game library and if we go to one of our, mu like for a music library, it has the different picture for the music library. And if we go to system settings, it has the Halo 3 logo for our system settings. And there we go. That is how you mod, or not mod, but create your very own custom premium themes for your Xbox 360. I will see you guys next time.